coming. The next one is Inu is the anime Inuyasha. Come on, do I really have to go in depth with this one? What's more awesome than um a hat de demon in another world killing people with us with a giant ass sword? Everyone knows that giant ass swords are awesome. Period. If you haven't seen this anime, check it out, alright? You won't be disappointed. As, and if you are, then I'll think you're really weird. Mm -hmm. Next one is Naruto Shippuden. Now, not much more to say about this, except I do, obviously do think it's way better than the original. Um, for obvious reasons, too, you know, I mean. But, like I said before, I genu genuinely like can talk to you. I genuinely like Naruto, so of course I'm gonna like Shippuden too. Alright, that's really all I have to say about this then, alright. Alright, the next one, number three, is El Reca 7. Um, this anime is amazing, and it's one of the very few short animes that actually ends halfway decent, and I actually heard there was gonna be an anime movie. So, when I finally see that I don't know if it's out yet or not, but when I, when I finally see that movie, hopefully it um, takes place shortly after episode 50, which is the last episode, I believe, if I remember right. Right, then ends good again. Yeah, if they made that anime movie and it still didn't end good, I'm gonna be pissed. Beyond belief. Anyways, though, Eureka 7 comes in at no. Besides, who could possibly say no to giant robots and people on surfboards killing each other in the air? Come on, it doesn't, it doesn't get any better than that, alright? Well, obviously it does, there's two more better than this, but I, I personally think, but anyways, though. Eureka 7 comes in at number 3. I come in and run in, the runner-up at number 2 is Love Hina. This includes both, um, seasons, Love Hina and Love Hina again, and all the anime movies, actually. This series is one of the best love stories in, um, anime I've ever saw, and it's just like, I believe 20 some, 30 some episodes, if plus anime movies, of course, and it still ends amazing. I didn't think it was good at first, but it does. This is undeniable proof that short animes can be done if can work if done right. This anime is undeniable proof of that. All right, I love this anime. Alright, basically, um, I haven't watched it in a while, let's see if I can recall the story of it. Um, it starts out with these two, um, th this boy and this girl, um, Naru and, Naru's the girl, and, um, the boy is, uh, forget his name, wow. Anyways, um, they made a promise to each other to get into Tokyo U when they went to college. Um, and then it shows them all grown up, all almost ready to get into college, and a few problems here and there because they meet each other again, but they don't know it's them right. That that it's um the one they made promises to right away. Huge story. All right, and it's see, and there's some. Oh, it, his name's Keitaro. That's right. All right. Anyways, I love this anime. Well, there's only one left. Who? Could possibly beat this anime in my books. Jesse. Alright. What do you take when you get or what do you get when you take magic, fantasy, kick ass action, love and put it all together in an anime? You get my number one favorite anime of all time, Zero No Tanzuka, also known as Familiar of Zero in the US and, and everywhere else. Oh, where do I start and how much I love this anime? So, what, should I start with the plot? Well, just for the hell of it, here's the gist. Um, this group of sorcerers, one of them being Louise, is at Tr Tristan Magic Academy. But Louise is known to be called the nickname Louise the Zero for her, created for the simple fact that she can't, hasn't been able to perform a successful magic trial. That's right, Zero. Well, it's finally, but one day it's finally time for them to summon their familiars. Their familiars are basically their servants. 
and they're usually like animals. Only one other time in history has a human ever been summoned. Well, we summons a human named Saito. Later in the series, he'll become her lover. All right. Um. And eventually, she, or at first, she thinks she made a mistake with it, but eventually, no. Throughout the course of the anime, though, later on, there's a war going on between Tr Tristan and uh, Albion, a neighboring country. Um, it's with, and Saito fights with this um, huge ass sword, talking sword, I might add, called Dirk. And of course, she fights with her wand. There's also, another type of magic in this game called Void Magic, which is basically um, a magic that only Louise can pull off. She apparently is revealed later that she's the descendant to a long lost Void Mage. And Saito's the descendant to that Void Mage's. Um, familiar and lover, Gandalf, which apparently Dirk, the sword, Saito sword, once served. It all pulls together in the end. I love this anime. I'm not going to say any more about it. If you want to know how good, awesome this anime, just go watch it out. You won't be disappointed. Trust me. Alright, that's my top 10 anime list. Let's hear yours. Either post it as a comment or post it as a video response. Um... Yeah, and I want to point something out here, just why uh, I don't want to get flaming for this. Art. I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna say it anyways. This is my list, not yours. If one of your favorite animes wasn't on here, or one of your hated animes was on here, I don't care. It's my list, not yours. All right. No two lists is ever gonna be the same. Exactly the same thing as ever, alright? Yeah, don't flip out. It's just, this is just for a bit of fun, alright? Goodbye.